Hello all. So today I'm talking about a P0102 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And I'm going to put links down below for everything that I'm looking at here. But what is a P0102 code? Well, it's a mass or VAF, a circuit low input error. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is having problems reading the mass airflow sensor. And the mass airflow sensor is, is what the onboard computer uses to get the air fuel ratio right that goes into the cylinders. So the onboard computer uses the mass sensor to know how much air went into the engine. And when you get this code, it's having a problem communicating with it. So it would be some symptoms. Well, you might have a rough idle. You might have stalling. It could vary widely because it depends on how bad the sensor is malfunctioning. Sometimes they don't completely malfunction, and so they'll, they'll partially work. And then sometimes they just completely go bad. So the symptoms can vary. And what would cause this problem? Well, you could have a blown fuse, bad wiring. The sensor could be dirty or it could be bad. And where is it located? Well, it's located right after the air intake box. I'll go ahead and show you some images here. So here's an example of one. Here's the mass airflow sensor. Here's the air coming in from the filter. This is where you change your filter out over here to the right. And as it comes in, it goes past this mass airflow sensor, and that gets sent to the computer on these wires to know how much air is going into the engine. And these are pretty simple to swap out, but quite often they don't go bad. They just need to be cleaned up, and you can get some cleaner and clean them up. Quite often they'll start working again. One thing to mention is be sure to check this harness that is plugged in good and that the wires are good because bad wiring or a bad connection can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So like I said, you usually can clean these up and put them back in. They can start working. But there is a possibility it failed. So if it did, you can go ahead and replace it. Let me jump over on Amazon. I'll show you how much they cost. They're ranging like 20 to 30 bucks. Usually you can get one for less than $50. Of course, the price is going to vary depending on your year make and model of vehicle. But they're usually pretty cheap if it did go bad. But like I said, first thing you could try is to try to clean it up because quite often that'll get it working again. And so what would be some common causes of fixes if you have a P0102 code? Well, it could possibly be a fuse. You know, if a fuse blows, then you won't be getting power to a circuit and it'll cause it not to work. So keep in mind, fuses could be a problem. You could look for blowing fuses. The wiring, wiring can be a common issue on some vehicles. Uh, or the harness where it plugs in, check the wiring, be sure it's good. You could check it for an open or a short and see if uh, it, something like that is going on because those wires go back to the onboard computer and they need a good connection for the computer to read it. Next up would be simply to clean the mass airflow sensor. And I would say this is the most common one is you simply clean it up and it starts working again. They have cleaner for this that's specially made. It's called mass airflow sensor cleaner. And so number three would be just clean it up, put it back in and test it out. Quite often that'll work. And of course, the sensor might just have gone bad. So, so if it does go bad, you can replace it. Like I showed you before, they're usually less than 50 bucks. Pretty, and they're pretty simple to swap out since they're located right on the top near the air box. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of what a P0102 code is and how you can go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.